Thank you, Chairpersons. Very good morning. Pronounced my God for the Professor Dr. Sishia and others here. Good morning. And uh, this obesity, where we stand second highest, and all these congenital lambdies, hypertension, and macrosomia, and the rise of heart attacks in uh, India, and uh, uh, this uh, recurrent hypoglycemia, IUGR, hydramnias during pregnancy, everything you are in the morning, that GDM is the mother of all these non communicable diseases. And if you, according to IDF, in the low and middle income countries only, we have 85 percent of the annual global deliveries and 80 percent of global diabetes burden and 90 percent of all these cases of maternal and perinatal deaths and poor pregnancy outcomes. I am now going to share a, a real world experience what I had in uh, uh, directing diabetes during pregnancy in the rural areas. Why treat GDM? Because in a single shot, we are going to prevent the risk of developing diabetes in the mother as well as the offspring. And what our mentor always used to say, the timely action taken now in screening all pregnant women for glucose intolerance and achieving euglycemia in them and ensuring adequate nutrition may prevent in all probability the epidemic of diabetes. And if you all take some efforts to go and see what is happening in the rural areas, there is inadequacy from A to Z. And we have done a survey and found in so many rural health centers and found that this single step procedure, how it is going to be useful. Of course, we analyzed all these places, almost 5,000 cases and found more than 90% of them, they do not come in fasting. And Wherever it may be, that majority of population go to the government setup. Either it is overburdened and they always want a welcome, whichever is easier, simple and at the same time useful, which will prevent the mortality and morbidity. You see the crowd in primary health centers. So we stepping down from ivory towers to ground reality. We, the, uh, uh, if you see the antenatal OP, it is there only on every Tuesday, it's weekly once and everybody is not to, able to get their tokens because of the overcrowd and some pregnant women, they may have to go back not getting their token and come on the next day. And if you see in the primary health sensors, to do the regular GTT in fasting, we need three venous samples. There is not adequate strips, reagents, syringes, lab technicians, paramedicals, doctors. Even drinking water is not available and somebody donates water also. So in this uh, in, uh, situation, they need to see around 100 to 150 cases on this particular day, antenatal cases. And again, our primary health centers, they open after 8 o'clock between 8 to 9 and for doing this uh, full GTT uh, to explain everything and give them the glucose load after fasting it takes about even if it takes about 2 to 3 minutes for each case by the time we finish this 50 to 100 cases many would have crossed their 1 hour 2 hour and this is not the only test then they need to get undergo so many other tests. So if both the medical officer and the pregnant mother can do the routine in a single visit, it will be easy for all the patients, staff, attenders and the medical officers and to the nation as such, the second visit becomes unnecessary. And if you take the proportion of obstetrician, it's also very low and sometimes it is deputed from elsewhere. In Tamil Nadu government, we have the habit of giving 18,000 rupees to all antenatal cases and so even the affordable class they come only to the government hospitals to get this free money and you think that this pre pregnant females they are not alone they are housemakers in villages to finish their routine work and to take care of their house members and non-house members like the goats cows hens dogs all these domestic animals it takes some more time for such a long time the pregnant ladies cannot withstand fasting so again if you see the transport they are in the interior of the village where there is no transport facilities they have to work walk for some uh, time and then reach the spot and this fast frequency is not also throughout the day it is at particular time of the day only and so walking for this and uh, then reaching the spot and to reach the phc almost it takes one to two hours and the frequency as i said it's not also throughout the day and the all gather in the same time that is at 8 to 9 and so it's much crowded and to see the medical officer in turn again it takes some time for them 
and during the antenates as it is not this is the only test they need to undergo all other tests including scan which all takes a long time and nearby there is not a, in rural areas hotel or mess to uh, 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 fulfill their hungry uh, and all these diff or to do all these things in fasting it's very difficult for the pregnant lady because she may faint easily easily and the elders in the house believe that with about taking uh, something they do not allow they strongly believe that pregnant women should not fast for a long time and again they cannot come alone they are accompanied by another person who is a daily wages so two wages are gone for a day and if they are asked to come again in fasting next week yeah, there are many dropouts and there is much delay in diagnosing gdm also and see this lady she is working even on laborers day may 1st which happened to be on sunday if not a family herself will be deprived of bread and butter in pregnancy the fasting is already low because of the high insulin sensitivity and the muscle takes up more glucose neo glucogenesis comes down and there is hep less hepatic glucose output so the fasting is low in the early pregnancy and the pregnant ladies again they have more ketosis prone and they are uh, have a accelerated starvation you know that fetus is a continuously eating border in the intermittently eating host and she has to eat for two so she, she feels hungry early and they have hyperemesis and this hyperosmolarity of the glucose solution irritates more and she may vomit and all the efforts of coming in fasting goes waste uh, and she may be asked to come again even in uh second fasting so they re refuse to undergo this gtt in fasting and tolerate the glucose solution better in non fasting state because vomiting is no less and the repetition is not no also there and you know that increase in there is a increase in the deliveries and the gdm is also on the rise and because of our sedentary lifestyle ethnicity strong family history overeating and late marriages after that they delay their children and the early age of occurrence of diabetes so how can we prevent we need to prevent on the pregnant mother uh, if we, uh, to prevent diabetes in future as i said with a easy single step procedure we need to screen them as early as possible and we know that indians are more prone to 11 times more prone to get diabetes compared to the caucasian because of our genetic predisposition and as i said the late marriage late child all this more pcos you have heard from morning and increased uh, family history all these necessitates universal screening that every pregnant woman has to be screened how can we do all this of course our mentor always used to say that indian problems need indian solution not other countries so all these practical problems in the pregnant ladies who are not able to come in fasting we can do easily in the test screening test in the fasting or non fasting however they may come to just proceed with the test the advantage is the she need not be in fasting non fasting simplifies the procedure and causes least disturbances in her routine life and serves both as screening as well as diagnostic procedure and again this fulfills the expectations of figo who that in low socio economic countries like us we have to do something to not leave them alone our aim is to screen for diabetes diagnose early and have a diabetes free generation in future a uh, dipsy again it is started uh, with a motto to diagnose and treat diabetes in the community by catching them as early as possible by simple screening and we did a survey with the medical officers uh, paramedical staffs and public before the introduction of this uh, uh, dipsy procedure we used to question them whom to screen for gdm when to screen and how to screen these sim three simple questions were so much confusing for them and they, they were not able to convince the patient for two days that is they don't come in fasting so they have to be uh, asked to come again and they need four samples facilities not available and they need to wait for a long time in fasting so the response was very poor but with this walk in test the single step they all uh, welcome all this uh, simple procedure and it is accepted by the government of india as the national guidelines and called as tamil nadu model which is 
followed not only in Tamil Nadu, all other states and also approved by WHO and FIGO and the response is very good and also it's very simple test. Women being the ambassador of the whole family, uh, but with this the awareness of diabetes has improved, improved in the whole family and this again we have evaluated by doing this simple study. So we achieved the improved increased screening and follow up and again we have got a very uh, much reduced bad obstetrical outcomes by screening them early like macrosomia, preterm, pregnancy induced hypertension, all these are features of nothing but obesity or dyslipidemia, whatever you talk of features of insulin resistance that is sedentariness. So for the pregnant mother, she is the housemaker, sometimes the breadwinner has to get ready after coming uh, carrying the needs of the family members and sometimes the domestic animals and distance to travel with less transport facilities. By this time, she will be hungry and may not be able to attend the antenatal OP in fasting states, needs somebody to accompany, so two wages are gone. And in the health centers, they open late and staffs are not adequate. There is a huge population to take care and sometimes the pregnant woman may not get the opportunity in one visit. If asked to come again, she may not turn up and uh, she loses two two incomes for a single uh, two times if she visits and antenatal OP is only once a week there is an enormous delay and dropouts so most of the labs are not well equipped in these primary centers there is deficiency in reagent paramedical staff and various tests and there is a even lack of electricity and many pregnant ladies so do not come in fasting because of the lack of awareness and strong belief that they do not should not fast for a longer period. So what is the solution for all these problems? The walk-in test given by SDPC and the national guidelines the simple you can do this in fasting and non-fasting state and this even the glucometers especially what sir said in the morning the roach glucometer is approved it should be a well calibrated one so most complicated problem in this use as a uh, universe as a simple solution said Einstein but our mentor said that uh, th all these problems can be solved in a very single test by giving 75 grams of glucose in fasting or non-fasting state just remember one value for diagnosis it's for diagnosis 140 at two hours post glucose and for further follow-up maintain all blood glucose throughout the day all uh, post meal less than 120. So, Dipsy's dream is to be, uh, stop this diabetes begetting diabetes. So, lives of these great men all remind us we can make our life sublime and departing leave behind us footprints on the sands of time. Thank you. And remember, uh, March 10th is GDM Awareness Day. I request all of you to take up and screen for more cases as early as possible with this single test procedure. Thank you.